And here's a quick tip. I learned this from watching Sar Drimmer from Boldport solder up his beautiful projects. Typically, when you solder a connection together on a through-hole circuit board like this, you get what looks like a little mountain of solder. Then you can come back through and trim it down, and maybe you get something like this, and it's tidy and it gets the job done. But these days, with project boards that are almost works of art in themselves, here's a technique for making solder joints that are prettier and smoother to touch. Take that same joint you just made and use flush cutters like these $5 hackos to trim the joint right down to the board. Then come back around with your soldering iron, reheat the connection very quickly, and hit it with just a touch of solder. It takes some practice, but if you get it right, you get a perfect little dome. Something about the surface tension of the new solder and the lack of any central element poking through makes this happen. And when you apply this technique over an entire board, it almost looks like it's been put together with little rivets. It's a nice look and it's smooth to touch. You can clean up the extra flux with a swab of isopropyl alcohol and you've got a board worth showing off. You don't need any special soldering iron or solder to make this technique work, but you really do need the flush cutters to get up right against the board. I've got a link to these exact ones in the description.